Hi Sarah, welcome to GRA 220. Uh, this will be some video feedback for you on your uh, print ad. And uh, well, here it is, <laughs> Donovan's. Um, I'm launching it in Illustrator. And if it prompts me for images, then I will know that uh, you have not embedded them, but you have. And what's, what's wonderful about this is I can turn them on or off. Um, I like your collection of images. It's, it's, uh, I, I think it, I find it sophisticated. And I like it um, also because it reminds me uh, of the Swiss travel uh, posters of Herbert Mater. Where to go? And something going on with your desktop. I see you turned the grid on. Uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me not be distracted. I see that your layer structure is great. Um, and as I said before, you've got your masks on their own layer, and I can turn them on or off at will. So good job on your Illustrator document. Here's what you posted in the discussion board. It's probably easier to address uh, design issues. Um, I like the collage effect very much. It's a little mysterious. It's it's a bit mask light though. Um, I'm not sure if it's the illustration or the, the edge, but the orientation. I'm not sure whether the nose is here or there. I'm not. Even, I'm not sure it's important to know that. Uh, it's it has a surreal quality for me. It has a surreal quality which I find appealing, uh, by the way. Um, I, I see that you redesigned the logo somewhat. Um, I'm not sure whether the, you know, you can make this any color you want, the resort and spa. I would not use an outline, um, and uh, nor would I really use an outline here too, although it does give it some three-dimension measural quality to it. Um, I like the uh, beach huts or the, I guess, guest houses. Uh, at the bottom here. Think about um, contact information. You know, what's the minimum that you will need on a print ad? And when you place it, you know, be careful about the trimmed edge. Uh, magazines are trimmed somewhat, so you have to be careful about running copy or imagery uh, close to the edge. One of the things you might consider doing uh, is varying the opacity. Uh, <clears throat> for example, to make this perhaps a little less mask-like, uh, if you haven't done so already, you could uh, turn the opacity of that image down. Let's see what that, that does, if anything. I got the right one. Yeah, to let a little bit more of the background. But you got the right idea, and I like that you fit, you know, feathered your edges. I, that takes a lot of work. Um, so kudos to you for that. I don't think I'm doing anything here. But you get the idea. Uh, nice job on your silhouettes. Your edges seem to be very detailed. Even so, take a look at them, see if they need refinement. Uh, oftentimes what happens is there's a little ring of pixels. Okay, well, I was way too far in. Um, good job on your collage effects. It's very, it's surreal, it's uh, evocative. It, it fluctuates between um, monochrome and the corporate palette of amethyst. Very appealing.